Let's talk about optimizing your render queue. If you find yourself manually adding comps to your render queue when you've made some simple updates, whether it's a team name or logo that you've updated, and you need to go through and update a ton of boards if you're exporting for LED boards, say in an arena setting, like we do oftentimes in sports, you're likely costing yourself quite a bit of time. I wanna show you a plugin that's gonna allow you to streamline this process so you only have to load everything in the render queue just once, and once you hit render, everything will remain in the render queue. So when you go make your updates and changes, it's a much quicker process to turn things around and keep you moving. Quick request here before we jump into the tutorial. If you're finding this channel helpful, I'd appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified with each new tutorial that I put out. And it'll allow me to keep creating more tutorials. So here's a basic layout of a final master comp for USF that I built out. And as you can see, we have a bunch of different logos and we also have some text outlining team names. And so what I've done is tied all of these assets back into one essential graphics panel. So I only have to make the update once and it's gonna ripple through the rest of the boards. So if I were to go in here and change this to say dark green, and we can use their slime color uh, for the trees, we'll leave the text white, and we're gonna change the opponent to be Alabama. All right, so you can see everything has updated and changed. Now, if I were to go through and double click into each one of these, there is a shortcut. If I go up here to composition, add to render queue, I can do control M, I'm on a PC. Command M if you're on a Mac. Uh, if I add to render queue, and we can adjust the settings to our liking. If I were to, let me just uncheck all these. If I were to render this out, so I'm just gonna hit render. Signs of success. All right, so the reason I did that is because now if I go back down here, you can see how all the rest of these have a box here on the left-hand side. My box disappeared. So if you were to go through and manually add, even if you do control M to your render queue every single time and then go through and have to update or change any of this, it gets a little old, especially when you have the number of comps that we have. We have 10 comps that we wanna render with every change. So every time you go in and change it, you're adding this to your render queue. So the better way to do this is to, let me go to the bottom here, just delete these out of here, is to use something like Background Renderer Max, which you can find on AE Scripts. And what you can do here is anytime you make an update, all you have to do is just go in and check this box under render for the asset that you want to export. Now, you will also likely have to go in here and change the team name, or you could just change the folder that it's going into so that you know all of Alabama's are in one folder, all of Rice, what have you, however you want to set that up. So let me hit this real quick. If I hit background render, you're going to see that all that happens when I hit that is that this is just gonna uncheck and it's gonna stay within the render queue. So you can see it's unchecked now and it's working over here in this box. It's using a uh, command line interface. So I could technically still work within After Effects while this renders, but that was super quick. So this is the way that I recommend and how I typically set things up for teams that are going to be doing the rendering on their end because if all you have to do is go up here and quickly change your essential graphics panel drop downs here and we want to change this to say temple and I update this okay guess what I already have everything loaded I can just click and drag I have all 10 of them done and then you can hit background render and it's just going to go through and spit them all out. Now, one other thing I, I wanna quickly touch on is, let's say you, you have a request for an H.264 and an MOV. 
So if I right click on the output module and I click add output module, I can change this to say, maybe I want a 444 with alpha. So now I get an MOV and an MP4 within the same render queue here, and it's gonna spit both of them out. So I don't have to add it twice to be able to change my output for the same asset. So those are a couple tips for using the render queue more efficiently so you don't have to keep going through and re-adding assets to your render queue, especially when you have so many different boards that you're rendering that are all going to be the same every single time except for maybe changing your output. So I hope you find this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.